Brought to you by wikivd.com Auschwitz Concentration Camp Auschwitz Concentration Camp was a network of German Nazi concentration camps and extermination camps built and operated by the Third Reich in Polish areas annexed by Nazi Germany during World War II. It consisted of Auschwitz II Birkenau and 45 satellite camps. Auschwitz I was first constructed to hold Polish political prisoners, who began to arrive in May 1940. The first extermination of prisoners took place in September 1941, and Auschwitz II Birkenau went on to become a major site of the Nazi final solution to the Jewish question. From early 1942 until late 1944, transport trains delivered Jews to the camp's gas chambers from all over German-occupied Europe, where they were killed en masse. With the pesticide Zyklon B, an estimated 1.3 million people were sent to the camp, of whom at least 1.1 million died. Around 90% of those killed were Jewish. Approximately one in six Jews killed in the Holocaust died at the camp. Others deported to Auschwitz included 150,000 Poles, 23,000 Romani and Sinti, 15,000 Soviet prisoners of war, 400 Jehovah's Witnesses, and tens of thousands of others of diverse nationalities, including an unknown number of homosexuals. Many of those not killed in the gas chambers died of starvation, forced labor, infectious diseases, individual executions, and medical experiments. In the course of the war, the camp was staffed by 7,000 members of the German Schutzstaffel, approximately 12% of whom were later convicted of war crimes. Some, including Camp Commandant Rudolf Haas, were executed. The Allied powers refused to believe early reports of the atrocities at the camp, and their failure to bomb the camp or its railways remains controversial. 144 prisoners are known to have escaped from Auschwitz successfully, and on 7 October 1944, two Sonderkommando units, prisoners assigned to staff the gas chambers, launched a brief, unsuccessful uprising. As Soviet troops approached Auschwitz in January 1945, most of its population was sent west on a death march. The prisoners remaining at the camp were liberated on 27 January 1945, a day now commemorated as International Holocaust Remembrance Day. In the following decades, Survivors, such as Primo Levi, Viktor Frankl, and Elie Wiesel, wrote memoirs of their experiences in Auschwitz, and the camp became a dominant symbol of the Holocaust. In 1947, Poland founded the Auschwitz-Birkenau State Museum on the site of Auschwitz II and II, and in 1979, it was named a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. Background The ideology of Nazism brought together elements of anti-Semitism, racial hygiene, and eugenics, and combined them with Pan-Germanism and territorial expansionism, with the goal of obtaining more Lebensraum for the Germanic people. Immediately after the Nazi seizure of power in Germany, acts of violence perpetrated against Jews became ubiquitous. The law for the restoration of the professional civil service, passed on 7 April 1933, excluded most Jews from the legal profession and the civil service. Similar legislation soon deprived Jewish members of other professions of the right to practice. Harassment and economic pressure were used by the regime to encourage Jews to leave the country voluntarily. The businesses were denied access to markets, forbidden to advertise in newspapers, and deprived of government contracts. German Jews were subjected to violent attacks and boycotts. In September 1935 the Nuremberg Laws were enacted. These laws prohibited marriages between Jews and people of Germanic extraction, 
extramarital relations between Jews and Germans, and the employment of German women under the age of 45 as domestic servants in Jewish households. The Reich citizenship law stated that only those of Germanic or related blood were defined as citizens. Thus Jews and other minority groups were stripped of their German citizenship. The laws were expanded on 26 November 1935 to include Romani people and Afro-Germans. This supplementary decree defined gypsies as enemies of the race-based state. The same category as Jews. By the start of World War II in 1939, around 250,000 of Germany's 437,000 Jews had emigrated to the United States, Palestine, the United Kingdom, and other countries. Nazi Germany invaded Poland in September 1939. German dictator Adolf Hitler ordered that the Polish leadership and intelligentsia be destroyed. Approximately 65,000 civilians, who were viewed as being inferior to the Aryan master race, were killed by the end of 1939. In addition to leaders of Polish society, the Nazis killed Jews, prostitutes, Romani, and the mentally ill. SS Obergruppenführer Reinhard Heydrich, then head of the Gestapo, ordered on 21 September that Polish Jews should be rounded up and concentrated in two cities with good rail links. Initially the intention was to deport the Jews to points further east, or possibly to Madagascar. Two years later, in an attempt to attain new territory, Hitler invaded the Soviet Union, intending to deport or kill the Jews and Slavs living there. Auschwitz I After this part of Poland was annexed by Nazi Germany, Oswiecim was located administratively in Germany, province of Upper Silesia, Regierungsbezirk Katowice, Landkreis Bielitz. It was first suggested as a site for a concentration camp for Polish prisoners by SS Oberführer Arpad Wigand, an aide to higher SS and police leader for Silesia, Erich von dem Bark Zilewski. Bark Zilewski had been searching for a site to house prisoners in the Silesia region, as the local prisons were filled to capacity. Richard Glucks, head of the concentration camp's inspectorate, sent former Saxon Hausen concentration camp commandant Walter Eisfeld to inspect the site, which already held 16 dilapidated one-story buildings that had once served as an Austrian and later Polish army barracks and a camp for transient workers. Reichsführer SS Heinrich Himmler, head of the Schutzstaffel, approved the site in April 1940, intending to use the facility to house political prisoners. SS Obersturmbannführer Rudolf Hoss oversaw the development of the camp, and served as the first commandant. SS Obersturmführer Joseph Kramer was appointed Hoss deputy. Auschwitz I, the original camp, became the administrative center for the whole complex. Local residents were evicted, including 1,200 people who lived in shacks around the barracks. Around 300 Jewish residents of Oswiecim were brought in to lay foundations. From 1940 to 1941, 17,000 Polish and Jewish residents of the western districts of Oswiecim were expelled from places adjacent to the camp. The Germans also ordered expulsions of Poles from the villages of Brozkowice, Babice, Brzezinka, Rajsko, Plawi, Harmes, Bor, and Budi to the general government. German citizens were offered tax concessions and other benefits if they would relocate to the area. By October 1943, more then 6,000 Reich Germans had arrived. The Nazis planned to build a model modern residential area for incoming Germans, including schools, playing fields, and other amenities. Some of the plans went forward, including the construction of several hundred apartments. But many were never fully implemented. Basic amenities such as water, 
and sewage disposal were inadequate, and waterborne illnesses were commonplace. The first prisoners arrived in May 1940, intended to act as functionaries within the prison system. The first mass transport to Auschwitz concentration camp, which included Catholic prisoners, suspected members of the resistance, and 20 Jews, arrived from the prison in Tarnow, Poland. On 14 June 1940, they were interned in the former building of the Polish tobacco monopoly, adjacent to the site, until the camp was ready. The inmate population grew quickly as the camp absorbed Poland's intelligentsia and dissidents, including the Polish underground resistance. By March 1941, 10,900 were imprisoned there, most of them Poles. By the end of 1940, the SS had confiscated land in the surrounding area to create a zone of interest, surrounded by a double ring of electrified barbed wire fences and watchtowers. Like other Nazi concentration camps, the gates to Auschwitz side displayed the motto Arbiet Macht Frey. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by wikivd.com Please like and subscribe below Please like and subscribe below